This video is sponsored by Audible. Stick around for a special offer. Team cut down to level one. What do we have? Standard stabbing victim? Anything but. This was an expert assassination in broad daylight. Hidden chain armor, no witnesses, and yet every major organ has been punctured. So whoever did this was incredibly skilled or incredibly lucky. Very true. They really split the party. There's not really a party. He's he's the only victim. Right, sorry. Forgot you hadn't seen the rest of it yet. The, the rest of... Ah! What could have done this? Fireball. My gut says wizard. Never met one that could resist a good evocation spell. Add that to our stealthy stabber, and we've got ourselves an adventuring party in the making. Adventuring parties are the good guys, though. I mean, they can be rough around the edges, but they wouldn't just attack civilians. Tell that to the other guy. The other guy. Oh my god! Yet another victim of senseless looting. He's been chopped into pieces! They were thorough. A little too thorough. They must not have gotten what they wanted, which means they'll be back. They always come back. I can't even tell which part is his head. Doesn't matter. He's dressed like a metrosexual genie, which means he owned a magic shop in the middle of town. He must have had a rare item that our suspects couldn't afford, and it looks like crime didn't pay. Why do you keep doing that? Because I know who the killers are. Cool Knights of the 420. An adventuring party made up of a rogue, a wizard, a barbarian, and a bard who can't resist making extremely outdated pop culture references. That describes like 80% of all adventuring parties. We have to move fast. Alert the guards, print wanted posters, and hire more eccentric shop owners. Because we're down one. Detective, wait! This doesn't make any sense. I've heard of this group. They've protected people from monsters and saved towns. Why would they do something like this? Listen, rookie. These people may paint themselves as heroes, but I've seen things you wouldn't believe. Civilian lives traded for treasure. Massive collateral damage just for the sake of making battles look cool. Bears disguised as people. No one would listen. So they're criminals. But we treat them like heroes. I had no idea. Don't worry. Once we catch up to them, the party's over. Yes, that's him. That's the bar. Get him. Ta da. You know, Pi, you got a you got a thing on top of your head that's like a creature sucking your brain out through your ears. No, 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 it's fine. I'm I'm just waiting out the monkey locust plague by listening to an unmatched selection of fantasy novels on Audible. No, oh, that sounds like a pretty good idea, actually. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of monkey locusts out there. I haven't let him go to work in days. How much does that cost? Well, here's the thing. If you go to the URL www.audible.com slash doormonster, you get a 30-day free trial and a free audiobook that you can keep after the free trial's over. No, free pretty good. I can afford free. You can even text Door Monster to 500, 500 for the same results. I don't know what that means, but that sounds very convenient. And then I can listen to stories about heroes who stop raids of monkey locusts before they eat people's families. Hey, you can even listen to stories without monkey locusts in them at all, like Skyward by Brandon Sanderson. I don't know, that sounds highly unrelatable. Now oh, come on, just think of all the inspirations all the youngsters could get for their role-playing tabletop games. That's a good point. We gotta make sure they have a better life than us. Mm -hmm. Hey, do me a favor, help me plug up the chimney so we can eat our emergency bananas in peace. Sounds good.